Direct News TV. March 22, 2024. Israel's War on Gaza, List of Key Events, Day 168. Here's how things stand on Friday, March 22, 2024. Fighting and Humanitarian Crisis. The Israeli military says it is continuing to conduct precise operations at Gaza's Al Shifa hospital on Friday. Its forces have killed 150 fighters and apprehended hundreds of suspects in or around the facility in the past day, it claims. Israel faced heavy criticism last November when troops first raided the hospital. Israeli forces said they had uncovered tunnels, which they claimed had been used as command and control centers by Hamas. Hamas and medical staff deny that the hospital has been used for military purposes or to shelter fighters. On Friday, in a northwestern area of Gaza City, a residential building with a family inside was targeted and destroyed. Ten people were reported to have been killed. At least eight people have been killed in attacks on Rafah City, particularly in northern and eastern areas, while many more have been injured, according to medics. The U.S. military dropped 50,600 U.S. meal equivalents into northern Gaza on Thursday, as part of a humanitarian effort to relieve severe food shortages in the area. Diplomacy and Regional Tensions Israel's Defense Minister, Yoav Gallant, will arrive for meetings in Washington, D.C., next week with a wish list of weapons that Israel wants the U.S. to supply in an expedited manner, according to reports. Meanwhile, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is in Tel Aviv where he is expected to discuss the continuing negotiations towards a prisoner exchange deal and a ceasefire in Gaza. The UK and Australia both declared the need for an immediate cessation of fighting in Gaza on Friday. A joint statement issued on Friday by foreign ministers from Arab countries also called for the removal of all barriers imposed by Israel which are preventing humanitarian aid from reaching Gaza, in order to address the dire needs of over 2 million Palestinians facing famine. In the U.S. on Thursday, Rashida Tlaib, the only Palestinian-American member of the U.S. Congress, accused the Israeli government of committing some of the worst crimes against humanity of this century in its war in Gaza. Violence in the Occupied West Bank On Friday, three people were injured, one severely, in clashes involving a Palestinian gunman in the occupied West Bank, according to reports by the Times of Israel. The Israeli military earlier said it was using a fighter jet and drone to pursue the gunman, who had first fired at an Israeli vehicle near the settlement of Dolef. A Palestinian has also been killed and at least seven Israeli soldiers have been injured in fighting on Friday near the West Bank village of Deirbzea, west of Ramallah. My name is Kingsley. Please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be the first to be notified whenever we post you won't regret it.